Good morning. Uh, I feel <laughs> tired. <laughs> I am so tired. Um, one of my little boys last night did not. He got a late nap. And it was one of those things where I came home yesterday from work and I saw he was laying on the couch at one point taking a nap and I knew what time it was. It had been such a long, hard day and it was kind of like, you know what, I'd really like to take a nap right now. I'm going to let him sleep. And I paid for it dearly. <laughs> well, not just me, my wife especially too. Um, he was he was up a couple times. I tried to put him up the bed. My wife stayed up with a couple of the older ones to work on the school stuff. And it's rush, rush, rush time, you know. Holiday season, nine weeks is ending. We homeschool. Uh, it's just, you know, so much is going on right now. It's easy to get lost, you know. Plus, on top of it, I'm on call for my work this week. I could be called at any hour of the day or night and uh, be called to fix something. And, you know, it's it's not... It's, it's one of those things where you get anxious about, but it's like, you know, really when you look at it logically, it's like, you know, when I get a phone call, I go to fix something. If I can't fix it, I call for help. Uh, you know, you just do the best you can. And... Uh, you know, I'm glad that it's Tuesday. It's one day closer. I have to do this for a week, you know, and uh, I'm glad that it's one day closer to being over and it's one day closer to being Christmas, you know. It's it's getting to the point where, like, sometimes it's hard uh, to get focused in Advent and focused on, you know, the renewal of our Lord coming into the world because there's so much stuff going on in the world that has absolutely nothing to do with our Lord coming into the world. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, I digress. I will read today from Matthew, very short one, Matthew chapter 18, 12 through 14. Jesus said to his disciples, what is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the 99 in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices over it more than the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it will not be, it is not the way, it is not the will of your Heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. So, how is this going to change my Tuesday? Well, like I said, there's a lot of things that cause for distraction, you know, and you know, when I first read this, I was like, well, you know, if you've got 99 sheep and one walks off, you know, what, uh, what, what, what's the big deal? It's, it's sheep, right? But, um, I look at this more in the case of, uh, a father, you know, I have six children. If I lose one, I still have five. By today's standards in America, that's quite, I mean, you can't believe how many, uh, how many times I've heard, don't you know what causes that? <laughs> but I love them all dearly. I love them all individually. They're all precious to me in and of their own way. Much like uh, I imagine to the shepherd and the Lord being the shepherd, even though he has a hundred, they are all individually precious to him until he'll go after looking for him. There are times in in each of my children's lives where they'll have moments and periods, seasons, where they'll stray. And you, you, it feels like you constantly run after them. And I can't help but think if that's not what our Lord feels on a daily basis with some of us that we've, of, of us who have strayed from the path. He, he keeps chasing after us, trying to find us, trying to find a way to bring us home putting different things at our feet and you know it reminds me of uh, stories when I hear someone saying that they had you know a bad drive to work because there was a fog and then there was a deer and then they got you know slow traffic and this and that and everything else and I'm sitting there I'm thinking you know a guy's trying to spend an extra time with you <laughs> I don't know I don't know that's just my opinion
So how is this going to change my Tuesday, I ask once again. <clears throat> well, I'm going to try to be part of the 99. Amid all the distractions, you know, I imagine that, that, that one sheep that was lost was looking for something that wasn't on the path, and he got so focused, or she got so focused on, on what they wanted that they lost track of the fact that they were no longer with their family. And then once you get out there, you're lonely and lost and you just keep going to find your own way instead of calling out to the shepherd, instead of calling out to our Lord. So in this day, in this season of um, what can sometimes seem like mass confusion, my Tuesday will change because I will try to slow down as the world tries to speed everything up and I will try to stay on focus and I will try to not become lost in the world but to stay with my family to stay with my Lord to stay with my shepherd and if I do find myself lost I will call out to him for I know he loves me and he will come save me for his son has come once already and has saved me if I choose him to be my savior I don't know that's all I gotta say about that